For a couple of months now, speculation has been mounting both in the mainstream and social media on the whereabouts of First Lady Lucy Kibaki, who has not been seen in public for over a year now. Among the last public functions that Lucy attended was the promulgation of the new constitution on August 27, 2010. <laughs> Since then, Lucy has been conspicuously absent in many occasions, including her own brother's burial. During President Kibaki's first term, the first lady would accompany him almost everywhere, including foreign trips. And that is why her prolonged absence from the public scene has prompted the speculation that something could be amiss. Over the past few weeks, Kenyans, especially on the social media, have been demanding to be told the whereabouts of the First Lady, insisting that as a high-ranking public official, the public had a right to information about her. And today, one of the local dailies, The Star, opted to put the question on the headline, Where is Lucy Kibaki? In an apparent response to this question, State House issued a statement which, while not answering the question directly, appeared to suggest that the First Lady was well Anybody with a question? and was keeping abreast of the latest developments in the country. The PPS dispatch said the First Lady had condemned terrorism acts at St. Polycarp SEK Church in Juja Road that left one child dead and several others with serious injuries. She further appealed to Kenyans not to agree to be divided along religious lines, noting that the fight against terrorism was a universal one. In her earlier years as a first lady, Lucy was never shy to express her opinion on any matter, including taking on cabinet ministers deemed not to be discharging their duties well. These things happen and they are ignored by the people in charge. I say here they do ignore. Why? Because they do nothing about it. And so her continued absence from the public limelight, and despite the PPS statement, this question remains unanswered. Where is Lucy Kibaki? Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.